Shanghai GDG is a very interesting、uh, developer community. I'm glad somebody has asked this question. I mean, this is where the magic happens. This is primarily a question and answer show. So, if any of you out there would like to ask questions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Google Developers Live. I'm Vic Frizel, and this is Nicola Garnier. Hello.、Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Google Drive SDK again,、uh, specifically around how to get started using Java and the Drive SDK.、Um, so, what we're going to do, do today is walk through the Java Quick Start、uh, example that we provide、uh, in the Drive SDK documentation,、um, and we're going to show that on the screen here in a minute. Essentially, what the、uh, example does is upload a file to Drive. It's a basic command line、uh, example that you can run by downloading the Java client library,、um, setting your client ID in secret, and then just running it. So、yep. we're going to walk、That's、through、right. how to do that.、Um, so, first, let's take a look at the documentation.、Yeah. Uh, can you pull this up here?、Um, so, here's the Drive SDK homepage,、um, but we need to pull up the Java Quick Start example. So, we're going to click Get Started Now, and then this is going to take us to the Quick Start page. We're having a bit of network latency at the moment. OK, so here we go.、Um, this is going to walk you through in about five minutes、uh, how to set up、uh, the Java Quick Start example. So you can see here that Java's uh, highlighted um, already, but all of the different languages have to walk through these first steps. So、uh, yeah. do you just want to talk、yeah, about these? Yeah, I'll do the first steps.、Um, so the, first, the very first step is to create an API project in the Google APIs console. Uh, and then、uh, you, I'll just show that in, min in a minute. Then create your basically enable the API, the Drive API, and create your OS2、uh, credentials.、Uh, that will allow you to basically tell us who you are as a developer,、uh, register your application, and, and where we'll give you quota, and you'll be able to use、uh, OS2 basically on, in your application.、Yep. So the first step you need to do here is the、AP、Google APIs console, which you can. Access、uh, through the URL code, google.com slash APIs slash console.、Uh, you need to create a new project. So you go to in the little menu on the top here, click Create. If you have no project, you'll have one big button in the center of the screen. We say, you know, cre create a project.、Uh, you can give it any name. I'm just going to leave that name. The project is getting created. There you go. And the second step is to enable. The Drive API, because it's the API we're going to use with, that with the OS2 credentials that you're going to create. If you want to use any other APIs in your, in your, in your code later on,、uh, just come here, enable the other APIs, and your, your OS2 credentials will work for these APIs as well. So the third step is to go to API access here and create、uh, an OS2 client ID. So you have to give another,、uh, again, your product name. <coughs> we're going to go with, I don't know, like test project. Then,、uh, for this particular sample, you need to select installed application because it's a command line tool, so it's not a web application.、Um, it basically means that, that you're running, you know,、uh, that you don't really have access、uh, directly, that the ap application doesn't really have access directly to a browser and cannot,、uh, you know, do the OS2、uh, basically full server side flow where、uh, the application redirects you to, to, a, to a website and,、uh, and you get redirected back.、Um, So, you have to, to choose install application here. You click create a client ID. And that's it. We got our client ID and secret. So, let's go back to, to the steps you want to, to follow up. Yeah.、Click. So, the next thing Nicola's going to do is、uh, download the Google Drive Java client library.、Um, so, this is essentially a Java library that allows you to easily interact with Google APIs.、Mm -hmm. Um, so, this is something we provide as an open source project. I think Nicola already has it downloaded here. Yeah, it's about, I think, 11 megabytes. So,、yeah. just to avoid、uh, waiting for the download, I have the, the zip file here, which I、uh, you know, just unzipped. Yep. So,、uh, it contains just a bunch of jars.、Um, and what we're going to do is add these jars to our class path. Uh, and then download the actual source code that we're going to run, which is、yeah. just a, a short little So, this jar here that I, that I、uh, overlighted is the,、uh, contains the Google Drive uh, you know, uh, classes that, that you'll need to use to, to access the Google Drive API. That makes it easy for you to access the Google Drive API.、Um, it contains also the libs folder, who contains a bunch, basically our dependencies that you also、yep. need to, to add in the class path. OK. So, let's、uh, add these. 
So if you're using uh, an IDE like Eclipse or IntelliJ, uh, this is going to be a little bit different, right? You, you uh, should know how to uh, add jars to your class path. If you don't, though, um, we actually link in the documentation on how to do it for each individual IDE. Um, so here you have uh, the command all set to run to compile the sample, except um, one, one step we, we didn't show is just downloading the source code, like copying and pasting it from, mm -hmm. from the documentation. Yeah. So just show where that is really quick yes. in the documentation. So well, if that is <laughs> set if we just scroll down here. here. Uh, so this is actually the source code. Nicola. Well, I'm going to actually create the file oh, sure. uh, right okay. now using VI, okay. using Vim. So this is the, the sample for the project. It's very simple. It's only one class. Uh, inside the temple, you're going to have to you know, enter the client ID, the client secret. Uh, and then we also have to create a, uh, you know, basically an example file, which is going to be called document.txt, which is the file that's going to be uploaded to Google Drive using that sample, using the Java code. Yep. Okay, so let's so let this. me just create that file. Just trying to get the name right. <laughs> All right. That's it. Okay. Let's just so quick. like you mentioned before, the only thing we have to do to the source code now is paste in our client ID and secret. Yeah. I'm also going to create very quickly here the example file, which oh, is right. going to be yeah. document.txt. Document. And what do you want there in there? If hello world. Hello world for a change. All right. That's okay. it. Um, so let's just go back. And so here, um, you can see that we have two lines uh, where we place our client ID and our client secret. Uh, these are in the API console project that we just created. So this is the client ID. Mm -hmm. And now the client secret. And then I save and quit. Yep. OK. And then let's just go back to the previous command yes. where we added all of the jars. All right. The <coughs> then the, yeah. what we're going to show now is basically simply compi compiling that, that, that class file, mm -hmm. that, that source uh, file that we just created, and then running it in the command line. So I had the, the commands ready. Uh, as you can see, we're setting the class path uh, correctly, including the current folder, which contains the um, Google API service drive v2 ref5 172 beta jar, which mm -hmm. contains, you know, as I said, the, the drive, uh, you know, business objects basically, and the libs folder, which contains all our um, dependencies. Yep. All right. So that worked. No errors. Perfect. No errors. Now we just have to run it. Now let's just run it. Here is the, the Java command to run it. All right. So this is the um, so now we have to go through the out of band OS2 flow, which basically um, here is basically how it works. We are, we're asking the, the the user to copy to go to that particular URL which we uh, you know printed on the screen here, which we're going to do right now. Then the user is going to, you know, uh, say if he wants to allow access to the Google Drive, a, you know, to his Google Drive data to the test project, or he doesn't. Here, I actually want to allow access. Uh, and here is how the out of band OS2 flow works: is we give you the the auth code here in in the browser, and you have to copy paste that to the application. Into the application. The application is using the the code. Going through, you know, the the OAuth uh, protocol, exchanging the code for tokens, then uploading the file, and here you go. Now we have the file ID. The file has been uploaded to Google Drive, so I'm going to go to my drive and you know search for, let's say, text file. Hmm. Maybe there's a bit of a delay. What was the name? Document. Document.txt. Txt. Oh. Facing a bit of this a is problem. Unusual. This is unusual. Usually, the files show up right away in your drive. 
So maybe the, the network la latency that we're having are, are causing this. So refresh. Let's just do a full refresh. As you can see, we're having a very slow connection. Yeah. All right, it's not so there. You lied. I lied. I totally lied. <laughs> if you want. Um, did you use the right account? I did. There's only one account. So if you want, I'm going to get the file ID. And do you want me to use the O2 Playground maybe to show, or to show the actual file? Has been uploaded to Drive. Mm. We could. Sure. Yeah. Um, so if you guys know the OS2 Playground, sorry. The OS2 Playground is a tool that allows you to play around with APIs uh, that use the OS2 protocol. Let's you go through your protocol. This is uh, the OS2 web uh, app view, uh, web server mm -hmm. flow. We were just you know, enabling uh, the Playground to access the Google Drive API for us on my account. Exchanging the code for tokens. And here, there's a little convenience tool allow you to select the right uh, REST operation. And we want to actually get the file that we've uploaded to Drive. Yeah, we can see the file has been uploaded. Yeah, so it's definitely there. Uh, the title I is my document, though. Oh, whoops. Which is probably a little issue in our Java uh, sample, which, which we'll fix later on. Actually, yeah. for what it's worth, I think all of the samples call it my document. Oh, OK. So maybe, <laughs> maybe our search was just incorrect the entire time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Oh, yeah. We can see the, the my, doc my document uh, yeah. file has been uploaded here. Yeah, good job, Nicola. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. This, this totally worked exactly as expected. So <laughs> uh, I'm just going to open the file. You can see the ID here and the URL, which is the, the correct ID. Next time, we'll have a better network connection. Yes. Oh, and here we go. you can see the Hello World file. Awesome. Yeah. Success. Success. Boom. Massive excitement. Yes. Um, <laughs> so now uh, we can go through the source code a little bit and <coughs> talk through line yeah. by line what, uh, what we're doing. OK. Here's so the source code. pretty much what we start off doing um, is setting up authorization. Uh, this is something that you have to do in pretty much every interaction you have with the Drive SDK. Um, so authorization varies language by language. But here, we're creating the Google authorization code flow and just giving it um, a few parameters. Um, most of these parameters you don't really ever have to modify, except for the client ID and client secret. And that's pointed out pretty, pretty directly um, at the top of the file there. Um, and if you were writing uh, a web application, you would also have to modify the redirect URI. Yeah, you wouldn't really use this out of band flow. Yeah. If you were building a web app, uh, you would actually use probably the web server flow or mm -hmm. uh, the client side flow, which right. is a JavaScript uh, flow for a JavaScript application, yeah. uh, which you know include. I've, I've, I've just shown <coughs> using the OS2 Playground, uh, your app would handle the, the redirect back and forth yeah. to the grant page, which which makes it you know way better for your users yeah. Uh, yeah. than having to copy paste this URL. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, once we once we set up the authorization flow, um, we actually uh, initialize it and then run run uh, a request to Google to get an authorization URL, which the user then has to browse to. And once they browse to that, that's when they get the um, authorization code and copy and paste that back to us. So you can see here in the next five lines, um, yeah. we're pretty much just this is all done here. Yeah, getting the URL, telling the user to browse to it, and then collecting the code back. Yeah. So when when the um, when the cost, sorry when the user copy pastes that code back, we, we take it, we exchange it for tokens, so uh, an access token and a refresh token, uh, and we get this credential object here on that line, which contain actually the uh, the access token and the, and the refresh token that we got back from Google, uh, and then you can use that to initialize your drive service. Uh, that's this line, and then you know very simply, it's it's a few lines. You create the file. Which actually correctly has the the title my document. I'm so sorry. I really thought we were giving the name of the of the actual okay. file. Uh, so my sure my my search was wrong, but but you know, the sample uh, worked as expected. Um, and and then we simply uh, also read the actual file uh, itself. You know the the content okay. of the actual file. Um, 
and then insert the file. That's like this one common line. Uh, insert the file to Google Drive, uh, giving it the metadata that we've created here and the file content. Yeah. OK. So now that, that we've walked through that, we can talk about um, other ways that you might be able to extend this to, to be more of a realistic application. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a few things that, that uh, if you are writing a real command line application using the Drive SDK that you should do. Um, and not even just a command line application, but rather an a, a desktop application. Yeah. Um, the out-of-band flow uh, is what you would use in order to do authorization. But having the user copy and paste a link into their browser, mm -hmm. uh, frankly, is, is not a very good user experience, right? And having them co copy and paste the code back to your application just doesn't make any sense um, to a user. So what you should do is fire up a web server locally, um, and then the redirect URI for an out-of-band um, OAuth flow uh, sends the redirects the user back to localhost. Right, that, that's mm -hmm. a valid redirect URI. So here you would uh, redirect the user back to localhost and spawn up a web server on their computer, and then receive the the authorization code mm -hmm. um, in the request. Yes. Once your web server receives that, you would shut the web server down, and now you have the code that's needed. So again, those steps are mm -hmm. one, start up a web server, uh, two, uh, open up the user's browser for them and send them straight to that link. Mm -hmm. When they click Allow Access, uh, yeah. you, your web server will receive the request. Mm -hmm. And then close like the browser. You could display the, a message the to the server. user like, hey, yeah. switch back to the application. We got the yeah. code now. You can, shut, you can you know, yeah. uh, shut off your browser. Yeah, and go back to there the are pr probably even fancy ways to like detect that mm -hmm. you've received the grant and then close the browser for the user and mm -hmm. just come straight back into context. Um, so that's what you would do in, in a more real real world context. We don't do that here because this is a very quick start oriented sample. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you were writing uh, a real drive integration on a desktop application, you would do much more than upload, right? Um, you, you would probably at least download files. Yeah, list right. files, yeah. download content. Yeah. Um, you know everything you can do through the Drive API. Change the, sh change the sharing of files, search for files. Yeah. You know. So we list complete uh, Java samples on how to do every single thing in the API mm -hmm. in the reference documentation, yeah. um, which is. Uh, linked to in the left nav of our documentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're uh, building also a web application and, and want to use the server side flow, uh, we have really good mm -hmm. sample on our authorization page. Uh, I mean, on our authorization documentation page uh, online. So I invite yeah. you to to go check it out. Yeah, um, we call that sample Doctor Edit. It's our flagship web application mm -hmm. sample, um, and we have that in every language as well. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? I think that's it as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining. Yeah. Uh, we're super glad to have you. I'm Vic Frizel, and this is Nicola Garnier. Thank we'll you see you everyone. next time. Bye. Bye bye.